I'm Nell Bryden. This is my daughter, Tala Marathi. And we took probably about two and a half years of swimming lessons with ISA. And we were doing it very regularly. Miguel was Tala's regular teacher. We took three times a week, sometimes four. And um, we loved it. I wouldn't have done that many lessons if I didn't see Tala making huge progress and really enjoying it. And we had so much fun. And you had so much fun with him. You did. Yeah. This was your third gala, and you went to the gala and you beat some seven year old boys at three different races. She came in first place. So when we moved to New York then this summer, then I thought, well, it's gonna be really important to us to find a new swimming instructor. We'll say diplomatically that because she had such a rapport with Miguel and we were so used to the method that, um, that uh, International Swimming Academy did, which was really breaking down each stroke. And, um, you would, when you were doing each stroke, rather than going straight to the front crawl, Miguel would say, okay, now we're gonna start out with the arms like this. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna just work on the uh, the kicking. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna just just do rockets. And each time her swimming stroke would get stronger and stronger. Because I am a really champion swimmer and I swim very well. And I don't think you enjoyed swimming here as much in New York. I think that there was part of you that felt like a lot of the reason you loved swimming was because you were swimming with Miguel and because he had a certain way of teaching you. And so that was very hard for us to leave. And it was hard for me as a parent to see her shift when we moved here and to see her not enjoying being in the pool as much and not enjoying um, learning the strokes that, that suddenly with the difference in the teaching method, that it felt like we were going backwards a little bit. And finally, I spoke to Miguel and Sylvia and they said, well, we'll just come over. And I said, you're crazy, you can't do that. And they said, well, yeah, we, we will, we'll come over. And they're friends of ours, actually, because we've gotten to know them so well over the years, that I said, we'll come and you can stay in our apartment in New York and you can have a great vacation and we'll swim in the pool in the building here and we'll have a wonderful time. So believe it or not, they did. They came to New York and it was magical to see those uh, those just first few minutes when she got back in the pool and all of it started coming back again. All of the old technique and all of the, the ways that she was working on the strokes and everything, everything started to come back. I think that one of the futures of ISA and one of the greatest benefits um, that people that have moved away and that have been part of the method and part of the, the academy, that they could go around the world now and start uh, helping other instructors learn how they were teaching and to, um, to improve their technique in terms of teaching young children. It's a very specific thing. And I didn't realize how specific uh, an individual it was until we moved away and realized how lucky we were in London. They're gonna help us get you back to fighting champion form, yeah? Because yeah, you're a champion swimmer, aren't you? Yes? Yes. 